Guys, I'm kind of concerned for this video idea. Just a little bit. Okay, maybe a lot. I'm very concerned. Ow! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So um, in today's episode, I wanted to revisit an old challenge I've done several times. But today, we're going to be building a Bloxburg house with the cheapest items only. I first started doing this four years ago and three years ago. I even went to renovate the Bloxburg starter house two years ago. I also did one with the expensive items as well. So you might see another one of those. You know, we got so many new uh, items and features in Bloxburg. And I haven't done this in a while, so why not revisit? Try it again. I'm gonna do it. Bloxburg home cheap items only. I'm so concerned. I actually was going through build mode to see what kind of, what are some of the cheapest things and... <laughs> No, this is something. So the only thing that we can just place down no matter what is just walls and whatnot. Floors are fine, obviously. There's no cheaper floor. There's no cheaper wall. They have kind of like this inspiration pick that I want to base it off of. Not exactly, obviously. But um, this this home right here, this is cute, modern and cozy tiny house design. We are using cheap items, so we're not going to have many choices, to be honest. But I like to think of building a modern house with a bunch of like rectangles and squares and stuff. Is that too long? We're trying to build kind of like a tiny house. Let's build something cute, all right? Something affordable too, because it's the cheapest. I think in like in the backyard, we could have a little pool, right? Like the cheapest pool is the shallow and I am completely fine with the cheap pool. Ah, a tiny house, wait, wait, a cheapest item house with a pool. That's kind of fun. This will be a bathroom. I'll do, I'll do that as a bathroom. This is going to be a strange house, guys. <laughs> this is going to be so hideous. And the real life photo is so much better looking, but yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and make the porch of this house, the wraparound porch. This is going to be the most iffy thing about the house. We're using the flat roof, which is the cheapest one. So we're fine with doing this. And that's why I also kind of wanted to build this. So this is our wraparound porch. And then we can go ahead and just do a roof for this too. Trust the process. Trust the process, guys. Trust it. Trust it, trust it, trust it, trust it. It's fine, don't you worry. Oh gosh, okay. I'm trusting it, I'm trusting it. And I do like the idea of... <laughs> this is peak modern, like this is definitely... <laughs> this is so modern. And I do like the idea of having like multiple flat roofs just stacked like this. It's kind of artsy in a way, if that's the greatest way to describe it, but I... <laughs> Okay, let's just do let's just do two. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go to the pillars. Grab the cheapest one, which is this plain thin pillar. I don't have any problems with that. Okay, they have the steps going up like over here, like starting here. But I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, we'll, we'll put the steps here. Where this is where you step up. Okay, and I'm gonna use multiple of these pillars to make it look thicker because I can't use the thick. I gotta delete this. I gotta delete this for now. We gotta let's fix it first. Note to self, I'm gonna place my pillars first. There we go. We're gonna combine a bunch of these like tiny pillars. Like four of them at least. Make one normal sized pillar. We have one there, one here. Maybe I'll place another one over here. Don't question it. It's um it's art. You know what? The back looks pretty modern. Alright, the back looks pretty Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put my porch, wraparound porch back. The past cheapest only houses have been modern as well, just because of the flat roof. I think that was my reason. I love how nothing changed my thought process. Okay, what? Wrong point. In the actual reference, there's this like part of the house that's like a bit of white and then there's this horizontal siding. I love this. I love this one. Okay. Then we put some windows over it. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> I am so adventurous. I am so adventurous. Oh no. <laughs> this is going to be bad. I think that's the whole point of this video though. It's going to be questionable, especially with these broken windows. I'm actually kind of surprised it isn't the broken door, but... Yeah, the frame is what we gotta use to get into the house. We'll do this, but do we have a curtain that we can make? Okay, we're gonna use the privacy blinds as like an actual door thingy. Like this is gonna be a functional door. Okay, and let me place let me place down some windows. So we gotta use these broken sunset windows. They're the cheapest after all. I don't know if we can make this look decent. Ooh, wait a second. I just found out something really interesting. Ooh, I rotated the window, you know, I made it go inside out. And it kind of creates like a cool kind of like... <laughs> no! Um, I will add some landscaping, I guess, like some pebbles or something here. I don't know. 
Okay, I'll add that. And then I'll add like, I kind of want like an interesting path. This will fix it, I guess. We're definitely going to need to fix it. I don't know. We'll just do like a simple path like this. I don't know what kind of plants we can use. Hold on. Garden. What's the cheapest thing? Just dirt? Fine. Okay, dirt doesn't count as like a plant plant. Okay, we need to find the cheapest plant, which is the short grass. Let's do that. It's only $2 extra. I, I'm fine with using this. Not going to lie. I don't mind using this. We can rescale it, right? Oh, yeah. To no problem. No problem. I will put the dirt down to go along with it too. But I'm going to make use of this. All right. It's only $2 more. I'm going to use it. No, I'm just going to place it all over. The spacing is going to be off, but I'm going to place this all around. Okay, it kind of looks more abandoned now. Just place like two of the shorter grass in front of the tall one and then like the one between them both. This is so ugly. This is so ugly. <laughs> cheapest comfort chair. All right, let's get some ottomans. I want some outdoor seating and the cheapest one is this ottoman. That's fine. And I have it so like where I search in like the cheapest end table. It is this $30 one and rather than just... I can use the simplicity end table because they're the same price. Okay, let's just... Okay, let's go into lighting. I need some ball lamp. Um, the cheapest light is this lonely light bulb and I will put that around. Oh wait, it's... It's, it's alright. I'm gonna make it to where... You know how like... This is the cheapest, like, quote-unquote garden, cheapest plant, whatever. What is the cheapest tree to use? $120. That tree. I don't know what kind of... What are the specific rules for this? I haven't done this so long. I'm gonna put some dead trees around this, because this is the cheapest tree. Like, if you search up tree in the garden and you look for all of them, yeah, the dead tree is the cheapest. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna include it. I'm gonna add it. Because we need some more landscaping, alright? We need some landscaping. It's so scary, though. This is frightening. Okay, we'll just put four down. That's it. Nothing crazy there. Okay, guys, I don't think I don't see much big difference between this and the the one from ages ago. Um, oopsie daisies. Oh, that's so much better. All right, you know what? <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do for the front exterior and stuff. This is so bad. This is another abandoned like this is an abandoned like modern house, honestly. All right, let me grab the pool now. I'm just gonna put it here. Just grab this one. It is the cheapest. You're gonna hear me say that all the time. Oh, it's the cheapest something. What kind of house is this? Wrap around backyard porch, I guess. Then I'll dye the rest of the house. I don't like these trees. They make it look worse. You know what? We're not having trees. These trees actually make it look 10 times worse. <laughs> A little um, outline for our pool here. Do not judge me on how I make this. So, okay. And then I leave a little square. Like, how do you outline a pool? Is there a way to do that without like... I don't know. I don't think so. You know, I'm just gonna outline the path. Okay, I need to add more windows to these other parts, other parts of the house here. I don't know why I like doing this. It looks fun. Oh wow, lovely. I guess I'll put one here. As is that supposed to be a bathroom? I think I made this into a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, let's go ahead and decorate the interior now. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly floor up this house. I think it'll look decent, you know? Like, let me grab these doors because these are the only doors I'm gonna ever use. Whatever that is, whatever this is. I'm thinking bathroom here. Living room, perhaps in this area. There's a bedroom right here. Uh, and, then this, and then this is going to be like the kitchen and dining. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm so ready. But yeah, you can use any like um, material you want. It doesn't matter. There's no such thing as a cheapest material. They're all worth like, they're all literally $20. So you can use whatever material you want. All right. You know what? It doesn't look that bad right now. Okay, let's start with the bedroom first. So we got to use the cheapest bed, which is this old mattress, unfortunately. But, well, you know, you can make it, like, look a tiny bit better if you brighten it up. Yeah, we just, let's just make it look more refreshed. We can't change. All right, and the cheapest end table to go with that. I'll just use the simplicity end table. I do not want this to be, like, an abandoned vibed house. All right, for the cheapest light, um, cheapest table lamp is this plain one. So I'll use this. It's only $5 more than the light bulbs, which I will put around the house still. All that work and what did it get me? <laughs> so then there's that. All right, let's go into storage and find the cheapest dresser, which is going to be the simplicity dresser. That right here. And I'll just copy that. We do have multiple alarm clocks, right? Oh, no, wait. We have multiple clocks. So for the cheapest clock, we're going to use the alarm one. This, <laughs> this is the cheapest alarm clock, okay. Um, and then I'll get the cheapest bookcase, which is going to be the ceram the cinder block. Why do I call it ceramic? Honestly, I kind of like it. What's the cheapest carpet? Oh gosh, it's the welcome. At least we can rescale this and yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wait, this is kind of fun. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. That's the cheapest carpet. Now I'm thinking for like some of these walls, like accent walls. Stir. Okay, there we go. This is the cheapest like... 
wall painting technically wait what's the cheapest <gasps> the cheapest shelf actual cheapest shelf is this i'm actually gonna use it i'm gonna put it here that's pretty good i really like that i really like that let me put this there's ways to make cheap items look good right you just gotta recolor it okay cool what's the cheapest like plant plant like indoor plant oh <gasps> the rough plant i'm using that Okay, you know what? That's my bedroom, guys. That's all I'm gonna do for this bedroom. Sweet! Okay, moving on to the living room. All right, so the cheapest couch, like actual couch, like sofa, I guess you would call it, is this um, broken one. And I don't have a problem with this really at all. Like, if anything, I kind of like it a lot. I actually really like the dirt stains texture. I'm trying to make it look less like abandoned furniture, you know, like it's kind of hard. But so we're gonna put that, this living room right here. And then what is the cheapest like single arm? It's the same price as the sofa, so I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna make it like age green, I guess. And then we can use the cheapest TV stand, which is the basic one. The cheapest TV, which is the what is this one? It's isn't it this one? This is still the cheapest television, right? 220. Yeah, that's, we'll use this to use. Coffee table, which is the broken one, no problem. See, it looks really normal. It looks natural. And there's no, like, there's no other TV remote, so I'm just gonna add it like that. And might as well take this shelf, even though it's not gonna look that great. I don't know. How does this feel? Get some of that warm lighting in here. Um, we're gonna need multiple of this. I feel like this is already better, though, than my other attempt. All right, they look the exact same. All right, moving on to the... We have a bathroom and then the kitchen and living, and we'll be set. Um, pool items. You know, we do have multiple ladders, so I'm using the cheapest ladder, which is the simple one. So we at least have, like, these tools. All right, let's work on the kitchen and, and um dining. Sure. This is going to be a fun one. We're, we'll have to use a broken one. I mean, like, it, it is what it is. Can't fix it. I mean, I could try and make it look a little bit more restored by doing that. Like, that looks not that bad. There's some, there's some stains on it. But that's okay. Uh, let's get the cheapest counter, which is going to be the basic one. Cheapest thing that goes inside a counter is this tilt one. So, um, is that how it works? Like, should I just use a full on just a wall sink? I feel like some people are going to yell at me if I don't. <laughs> but we'll use that sink for the bathroom. But the cheapest thing that goes inside a counter, we'll use it. Okay, honestly, that's our kitchen, right? <laughs> we have multiple oven hoods. We have multiple hooded things. So we'll just cabinet hood let's just combine a couple of these simplicity end tables to make i feel like this is actually not a bad idea that's my t dining table right there oh the cheapest chair is the broken one okay place a few of these around this table i think we may have some height problems but that's okay that's nice that's nice <laughs> This lonely light bulb does not brighten up the room as much, so I have to place multiple of that to give it like What is the cheapest appliance? Okay, we can add this kitchen light. Um, the cheapest coffee maker is this one right here, of course. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. That's all I'm gonna add. And we only have one blender, so very nice. All right, that's a fully functional kitchen, fully functional, like, dining. I'm gonna add an empty cinder block case right here for the front. Okay, let's go. Last but not least, let's go to the bathroom now. This one's gonna be super easy, so I'll just look... Okay, so our broken toilet is the one we can use. You can kind of restore that by just changing some of these materials. Like if you just make them plastic. Yeah, see, that doesn't look that bad. It's a little, a little messed up. I'm still kind of confused why we don't have like a broken shower, but oh gosh, that has to be the princess table mirror. I'm gonna put it right here though. Can't put this on the, oh, <gasps> wait, we can't put it on the wall. Hold on, let me grab a shelf. <laughs> let me grab a shelf, my time to shine. Okay, this is how you're going to use the mirror in this bathroom. Oh my gosh, perfect! And then, um, cool, nice. Um, cheapest toy towel. We'll just use this modern towel ring as well, like, towel ring for the, for your body as well. This toilet paper is this rural one, so we'll just add that. I'm actually so cursed. All right, and I'm gonna steal this carpet, put it in here, rescale it a little bit. I'm gonna put, like, an outdoor dining area, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing out here, is combine these end tables to build a dining table. I'm just gonna use these ottomans as, like, <laughs> so good. That is so good. The cheapest household item, I guess I'll add this as a decor. Um, we'll put a basket actually inside the room and since it's the same we'll put like we go through some more categories and like find some cheap stuff cheapest bathroom item makeup brush cheapest maintenance item a cinder block I feel like I can add this as like filler de decor <laughs> I don't know I'll just put it there um, the cheapest butter is trash Okay, I'll put that like right next to my trash bags. Sure. Cheapest kitchen item decoration is a mug. 
I can put that for like my living room area. And I think I can add that for like my tables and stuff too. The cheapest party item. Okay, look, I, I can do it. I'm allowed to do that. All right, there you go. Cheapest pillow. <gasps> Wait, I want to put this pillow on the... Oh my gosh, you can add a pillow to this. Wow, that's a fun detail. Surface decor. Pile of seashells. I'll add that. Trash can. Basic trash. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. This is very questionable, but this is what you're gonna get. All right, guys. Well, a couple years later, I tackle the cheapest items house again. And you know, the house value is $16,000. And I pretty much did stick with the rules. Okay, I stuck with most of the rule adjustments, but it's still pretty, it's like not that bad at all. But anyways, here's our, um. you know what? Now that I look at this, that's terrible. But here's our modern home. Yay. Um, actually, I chose a really bad time to do this because they added the abandoned. The backyard has a pool, though. Look at that. Wow. I can't believe it. All right. Let's go and tour it. Let's go through and look at everything. So that wraparound porch around the modern home. <laughs> yes, lovely. You got some seating and stuff. You know, you can sit here and watch people watch. Have, have a drink. You walk into the house and this is a functional door because why not? You know, it is fully fun. Uh, you walk on in. This is your dining area. This table don't look that bad at all, right? Like. There's not enough room to move your legs, honestly, but um, here's the kitchen, fully functional, fridge, stove. The oven doesn't work, but at least the stovetop does, so that's fine. Here is the bathroom. Okay, lovely. I just love it. Let me put in like a an abstract decal, you know, just abstract, boom. Already 10 times better. Ooh, let me do that for, th wow, wow. And then over here is the backyard. You have your pool, eating area, chill, whatnot. I don't know. Um, and then let's move over here to the living room. Nice as well. Has everything, of course. And then last but not least, the bedroom, which, you know what? For what it was, I don't mind it. Not that bad. It's not the worst thing. And I love how this bed has like a pillow. <laughs> That's great. But anyways, that is my... um. <laughs> Um, my cheapest only, my cheapest item only house. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm gonna, I'll see if I'll do the expensive one. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that again. But thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!